here it is guys i know i've had a lot of questions on this and uh there's a lot to talk about uh, this is probably the best invention to come to this industry is when it comes to a application type machine um, probably the biggest advancement other than the original you know first stand on designs uh, they all have been improved over the years um, and one thing they all had problems with until now is hillsides turning on hills maneuvering on hills or going down a hill um, and being able to safely stop nothing can do what this machine can do um, all-wheel drive all-wheel steer and to put it in perspective it's probably it's probably the difference of driving a two-wheel drive truck in the snow with no weight in the back to putting a four-wheel drive truck with weight in the back in the snow and uh, I just you got to experience it to uh, to realize what this thing is capable of. I'm just going to go over the, the differences right away. Uh, the spinner, the motor, all the hydraulic lines are external, much easier out of the environment. Um, another thing that was problematic is, you know, we had the chute blockers on other machines. They worked so-so. They dropped a lot of heavy material in one spot. Um, and another thing is the diffuser. You know, we different different fertilizers or different whatever you're spreading has different size particles, different material, uh, powder, some cleaner than others, and all that affects your um, your spread patterns. They had the diffuser, which you would adjust back and forth. Well, now we we have this. The whole motor assembly moves, and how you adjust that is right here on this uh, instrument cluster pad. Turn some power on here key and uh, your guide comes up here and so right now it tells you that a your hopper is closed and then you can go all the way this way you can go all the way that way or you can go back to center to make small adjustments just hit it there once once and once you get your true center for your product you sit there and you hold that down setting saved and it saves that setting you can do that for your left or your right so say you're coming up along a sidewalk and you want to just throw your material a little bit farther this way boom you can control your spinner speed just like always here your throttle another another huge huge difference is uh, accessibility this machine is a lot more open all your pump is right here Everything is much more easy to get to. There's drains built in the lines right here. So if you look down in there, there is a uh, union that has a drain, like a T in there, and you pull that out to drain, to drain your tanks. Um, soon to be coming is a uh, fold away tank. Still in the works, but uh, truly is a game changer. All wheel drive, all wheel steer, just it's truly amazing. Uh, some other key features. Everything that was wrong with old machines. This is a hinged assembly. Um, nice massive bolts on there to hold everything, to hold the weight of the operator. Nice cleats, no more pads to rip away. Um, truly, truly amazing. Inside your hopper, much cleaner. You know, there's no no hydraulic assembly so increased capacity there hydraulic capacity massive 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 three gallons i believe um, everything that could be thought of was thought of so i want to kind of touch base on a couple separate items here so a the main function of this machine is to spread material we have our hopper spreader we've done things differently there uh, everything that was wrong Problematic cables, no more cables. Everything is controlled on the uh, multifunction. Everybody says, well, lock, electronics go bad. Cables don't go bad. Cables do go bad. Cables are a major problem. They get corroded. They get stuck. They're never properly lubric lubricated. So this eliminates any of that. Um, the life expectancy of these pads is 
thousands and thousands of hours. So that is a huge advantage. Another thing they do is spray, spray pumps. You know, they've come out with two pumps, three pumps, alternators, all these different things to get you the volume uh, to run all liquid. This here has a pump mounted to the very, very bottom of the machine and it's clutch driven and basically gravity fed. So you're never going to like starve that pump. Whenever you put your water in there, it automatically starts feeding that pump. And hillside stability, you're always going to have water coming to the lowest point of this machine. Center of gravity, much lower on this machine. This machine has a massive 22 10 10, you know, tires in the rear. It has a uh, 13 by 8.5 by 10 in the front. Um, just a well built machine. So here's a uh, quick layout of uh, your basic controls. So this controls your forward movement. Um, very simple. You just kind of like like a typical machine in the past with twin levers. You just got one lever, forward, reverse. Uh, this controls your steering left and right. Um, everyone initial thought, well, how do you trim with this? Well, one-handed. This pedal right here is your forward and reverse. So. It's got a nice stiff feel to it, so it's not jerky. Forward, reverse. Uh, so you can basically drive one-handed like this and use this foot pedal. Of course, I'm leaning back to get this in the camera, but you basically just you hang on here and you, you hug on to the pad here with your, your legs. And just like a typical machine, you know, you use your body weight. You can lean against these tanks uh, to shift. Um, just truly truly an awesome machine all right so one big question is is like how do you drive it how does it drive and uh let's just kind of go for a one-handed drive here real quick and see how she does so first off you just like any machine start it up like that that's wide open so since i'm doing this one-handed I'm going to use these foot pedals. As you can tell, you just drive it like normal. Yeah. That's all that's required to turn. So another thing I'd like to point out, you know, if you look down at this turf right here, um, you don't see any damage. I mean, it's just so gentle on the turf, the way it turns. It turns tight enough uh, that it just follows itself, you know. So if you're going down this way and it turns tight enough that whatever overlap you have with your booms, it comes out perfect. Um, you know, you get in a tight, tight area, you may have to do some K-turns or whatever, uh, but that, we don't ever do a complete zero turn on our machines because we don't want to leave divots in the turf. Uh, so if you're hire, having operators out there and you're not the one running it, it gives you great confidence that they're going to be gentle on the turf and they're going to leave that property and make it look the best it can and not cause any more damage than what has already been done. So back to this machine here. So on this machine, like I said, it is the state of the art. 
Let me just hop on it real quick so you guys can just see me in action now. Um, I'm wanting to experiment here in the own, my own yard. This is a, a older variety of uh, a fescue. It just grows like crazy. It doesn't have the darkest green color. Uh, we try to throw uh, nitrogen at it and then we get a lot of growth. We're cutting it you know, at least twice a week. Um, so this is a, a basically a knockoff generic version of Primo. I got one gallon per minute tips on here. Um, it was all I had. I could go a lot larger if I wanted to, but uh, this is just what we had on hand. So let me hop on here. Keep in mind, I am gonna run four miles per hour because at four miles per hour at 40 PSI, that's gonna get my targeted uh, volume of water down. And then, um, so just bear with me on the, on the travel speed. But th this machine is capable of a lot more than that. So I'm gonna run this wide open. All right, and away we go. So right there is 4.2 miles per hour. It's painstakingly slow, but you know, you get used to it. And right now I'm using the foot operated uh, on off. So I'm not sure how the actual product is gonna show up on video, but you ought to see a pretty good spray pattern with that sunlight hitting that water at one gallon per minute, especially. I'm gonna go up this little hill. And that is pure mud. Now watch this. Literally rained here an hour ago. That is slick mud. And I am half full of water. No grass. I want you to see my tires are full of mud, and I am still able to climb on that hill. Show me any machine that can do that. You just, it ain't going to happen. Back to slowing down the growth. Now this is a product called PGR 113. I actually got this from a company called Advanced Turf Solutions. I'm not sure who makes it, but uh, we're spraying this at 26 ounces per acre. Uh, we were sp spraying some bluegrass. I can go higher than that on fescue, but this is just what the machine was already mixed up for. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a great easy very comfortable uh, let me use the foot pedal here so uh, two feet pedal gets a little bit used to get used to it there you can run this thing one-handed uh, so if you're trimming with this very easy to grab your trim wand and spray around things uh, I find like on a big flat wide open area the, the, the treadle pedal or whatever you want to call that is actually pretty nice. We'll get back to the lever. Or if you're a guy like me who's always uh, working and you get a phone call or you need to go hands free, you know, you just pick up your phone, start talking on it like that, get back to it. Very capable. I'm not even sure if I'm still getting recorded. I don't believe I am. Maybe I am. I just love this machine. I love it. There's 
lot of things that come out and you're just excited about it. And this is definitely very something to get excited about. Close up. So there's a uh, brief demonstration. Uh, hopefully that answers some questions. So let me know. My name's Josh, Josh Cage. I'm located in central Indiana. Um, I went to Purdue for turf science, um, attended three and a half years there, went to Ivy Tech for business right out of high school. Um, I was an Indianapolis firefighter there for uh, almost 14 years I had an injury um, unfortunately I had to take an early leave retirement slash deal uh, so I'm trying to pursue my career in the turf industry which is what I love and um, this machine is truly a game changer do yourself a favor get yourself a demo and get on this machine or get your guys on it because it's truly innovative it's pr more productive much much safer I don't know how many machines have been totaled over the years just by sliding out of control and you're going to eliminate all that with this.